Hi, I'm Enoch Sears, and today I'm going to answer the question, how do I succeed as a young architect? This is the business of architecture. All right, today's question comes in from Stephanos. And Stephanos, this is a question that I had when I first started out in architecture, and it's a question that I know a lot of new architects have, especially if they're younger, and especially if they don't feel like they have a large portfolio. And here's Stephanos' question. He asks, I'm only 30 years old, and I'm afraid I will not be taken seriously. Do you have any tips for beginners in closing contracts and general presentations? Okay, the first thing I want to point out, Stephanos, is that your age is only a limit in your mind. Think about the successful people who have succeeded from a very, very young age. Look at uh, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Hewlett and Packard. They started those companies when they had nothing. They were working out of their garage. Go watch the Steve Jobs movie about how he was working in the garage with Steve Wozniak and they landed an investment deal that later launched Apple computers. Okay, so that's the first thing. Get rid of any limiting beliefs that just because you're young, you can't succeed. All right, look at Jark Ingalls. He's the, the principal of, um, of Big, Jark Ingalls Group. He started, got to start at a very young age and he's doing incredible projects. So the point here is that go out there and get it. Your age shouldn't be a factor. Now, to answer the second part of your question, do I have any tips for beginners in closing contracts and general presentations? I do. The way you're going to make yourself stand out from the other architects or designers in your local area is to figure out what is it that you offer that is unique and different from everyone else in the marketplace. It may be your youth. It may be that you're dialed into the latest trends. It may be that you know something about this new generation of millennials that's coming up. Okay, so you have to figure out what is it that makes you different from everybody else. And then in terms of closing the contracts and general presentations, what I would say is when you go into a presentation, and I'm talking about if you're cold calling someone or you're, they invite you to, to a meeting, avoid talking about your firm and about your experience and about what you do because then you come across as selling yourself. The first thing you want to do is you want to try to find out as much as you can about the other person's business, about how they make their money, where their leads come. Really get to know your potential clients' businesses. After you understand their businesses, then you'll be able to provide them value. And what you want to do is you want to figure out how can you help them. Okay? If you can't figure out how to help them, then you're probably in the wrong market. Now knowing that you're an architect and you've done this for a long time, you have experience that can help your target clients. And I believe you were talking about, uh, based on your email, you were talking about working with local developers. Okay? So find out what are the big problems they're having. Come up with some solutions to those problems, meet with them, and teach them about how you think they could solve their problems. That conversation will naturally roll over into you and your services. You might not even bring it up. If you give a lot of value to someone during a conversation, they're naturally going to want to find out more about you. And that's where you're able to talk about what makes you different and how you can help improve their world. All right. Stephanos, the last thing I want to tell you is in your email, you said that you weren't going to go after government contracts because those were out of the picture. Now, I don't know why that is, but I want to caution you, just make sure that that's not a limiting belief that you have in your own head. If you believe it, that it's true, it is true, right? Whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. And so what I would tell you is, look, take a hard look at what kind of products you want to do, because if you're going to spend all this time doing business development, you might as well be going after something that you really like. So if, if the government projects are profitable, if those are the projects that are being done, Find a way to go after those projects. Either team up with an architect who's working on those projects currently or go out there and network and start to make connections in the government space, right? If you don't have that kind of experience, well, then you may need to go work for a firm for a little bit to get that kind of experience, right? So I hope this helps. Going back to our question, how do I succeed as a young architect? The first thing is do not let your age hold you back. Just because you're young doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the success that you want to have and even at an early age. You don't need to wait until you're 50 or 60 to have incredible success. The second thing is when you're giving presentations, don't think about you pitching your services to the people who you're talking to. First of all, try to find out what their needs are and talk about what's in it for them. How can you help solve their problems? If you enjoyed this architect business tip, go over to architectbusinesstips.com Sign up for my email list so you can get more information like this about how to make more money and have freedom as an architect.